we are going to discuss some things today that you don't really want to think about when you're going on a long fishing trip, but you need to be prepared for. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You are watching Angling Anarchy and on this video we are going to go over some things that you should have with you when you are going on a long fishing trip. Um, and I'm, not, I'm not talking hitting the lake down the road type of stuff. I'm talking six plus hours on the road. Uh, for me it's usually a Canada trip or two every year, trips to northern Wisconsin, that sort of thing. But I want to go over some of the things I carry either in the boat or in the truck so that when something does go awry, I am prepared for it and I can get back on the road and back to fishing. All right, first thing, uh, nobody wants to have a flat tire, whether it's on your trailer or your truck. Uh, a flat tire can uh, not necessarily put you out of commission for a trip, but it will definitely slow you down. So there are a few things I carry with me to make the process of changing the tire a lot faster. I don't really care for the jacks that come with your vehicle. Uh, you can always carry a bottle jack. That's nice and compact. I uh, like to have one of these. It's a compact two and a half ton floor jack. You can get these for 30, 40 bucks. I think I got this on sale at Farm and Fleet for about 30 bucks. That can save a ton of time. Uh, it takes up very little space in the back of the truck. You can get it out, get the truck up, get the trailer up uh, in a fraction of the time that it takes to uh, use uh, some of the other, like the jack that comes in a, in a vehicle. Um, so I always have that with me. Along with one of these. This is a Milwaukee half inch anvil impact wrench. Now, I wouldn't expect you to go run out and get one of these because they're a little expensive, but and it doesn't have to be Milwaukee, obviously. If, you're, if you have tools and you've got lithium batteries for Makita, DeWalt, I, I'm pretty sure all of them make an impact wrench like this. Uh, and they can be invaluable. I, I have it around just because, you know, at home to rotate tires, to uh, fix um, leaks in a tire, that sort of thing. So I've already got it in the house. I may as well bring it on the road with me. Um, that in tandem with the floor jack can make changing a tire a five minute job instead of a 30 minute job. Um, so like I said, this isn't something that's going to quote unquote save the trip, but it's definitely going to uh, put your mind at ease and just make those unfortunate things that might pop up a little bit easier to deal with. Now in the same vein, um, I also carry this little guy. Uh, it's a little tire inflator that Milwaukee makes kind of cool little little guy it's like a hundred bucks um, so uh, especially for those Canada trips when you're out in the middle of nowhere there's not a quick trip to be found if you've got a flat tire this thing will get it pumped up in no time at all handy to have around the house too but I always carry this as well along with a tire patch kit I've always got this in the truck anyway not not just for fishing purposes but this is not a bad thing to have. Um, that way, if you are in a more remote area uh, and you do have a flat, you can get it changed really quick. And then maybe when you get to the cabin that night or something, you can check the flat tire. Uh, and for your trip home, have it patched. Uh, use the little air compressor to pump it up. And now you're not searching, you're not wasting your time searching for a new tire at your destination. You can just fish, get home, and not have to worry too much about not having a spare that way. Enough with tires. The uh, next thing I try to have with me on a long trip is a spare boat prop. Now, it doesn't have to be pretty, but this will work. If I lose a fin on the other one, as long as no other uh, damage is done to the lower unit, um, or say you, you bend one of these over, these are just aluminum props I have, stainless steel is a, a whole nother issue, but I always, uh, especially on those long trips, I take a spare prop with me. Uh, 
make sure you have a prop nut wrench and then I also carry a couple of cotter keys with me because that is what usually holds the bolt on sorry holds the nut on that holds the prop on so these are all things I try to have in the boat when I'm up in Canada especially northern Wisconsin that sort of thing another thing that can come up on a long trip are electrical issues whether that be with the boat trailer whether that be with locators in the boat or, or something like that um, I, I'm no electrician but having a little voltmeter like this um, I've found comes in really handy uh, so you can even just to you know put it on the uh, the ohm setting and you can touch these two together and you know get a little reading just to just to make see if there's a circuit if there's a break in the circuit somewhere uh, that setting comes in really handy so electrical wise I always carry this with me along with a pair I don't even know technically what that's called just electrical pliers you know you can strip wires you can crimp wires and then I always carry some butt splices and you know just electrical connectors for the, the smaller wires in the boat uh, have some so you're able to fix the trailer lights uh, if need be so uh, all this stuff is uh, something I carry with me on a long trip as well and speaking of trailer lights being a big problem another problem that a lot of guys will run into is uh, a fried bearing so it doesn't hurt to carry a spare bearing and uh, keep the grease gun handy and in fact make sure you are greasing the bearings uh, every so off, often throughout the year and make sure those uh, if you have bearing buddies on them make sure they uh, have a proper amount of grease in them to alleviate the problem of uh, frying your bearings on your trip. One other thing I make sure I have going back to tires uh, I've got this little digital um, tire gauge I like this it's a little bit more precise than the little ones that shoot the little stick out the back end so I do like carrying this as well. I almost forgot to mention most of the stuff, uh, aside from the floor jack, I try to put in one of these big bins. Uh, most of it fits in one of these bins. That way I can keep it usually in the back of the truck towards the back corner so uh, it, it's all accessible. If something does happen when we're on the road, you don't want to pack it all up and have it you know, buried in a spot. You can't get to it uh, readily, uh, have it readily available. Make sure it's somewhere where you can get to all this stuff if you do need it in a pinch. Well, I think that's most of the big stuff. Um, I, th I guess I usually try to keep a couple fuses around for the boat and for the truck. If there's something that you guys always take on a trip with you to alleviate a problem that may arise when you're on the road or something like that, uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what that is. You know, in case I missed something, I'm sure I did. I'm sure there's there's stuff that that you guys out there carry around uh, in your vehicle or your boat to keep yourself from missing any fishing time. Now I wanted to make this video uh, before I went to Canada this year um, because I usually go to Canada twice I carry all this stuff with me uh, so that was sort of the idea for the video was was talk about what I take on these long trips. There's no Canada right now unfortunately for us uh, in the States here so I still have a trip in August uh, they just extended the border closure till the end of July so Fingers crossed for August, but if that doesn't happen, well, I'm sure we'll find something to do. Uh, maybe try to go in September or October if they open it by then. Who knows, they may have it closed all year. So um, my plans are sort of in limbo, but rest assured I will find somewhere to fish, most likely northern Wisconsin. Maybe we'll try to get over to Minnesota or Michigan, uh, try something a little bit different. But that's it. That's the video for this week. Uh, I'm hoping that the musky gods smile on me and the video after this is actually of somebody catching a musky. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, so yeah, that's the plans. Thank you everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. All you subscribers out there, everybody that leaves comments, I really do appreciate it. So uh, keep it up if you would. And that's it. Have a good one guys. Uh, good luck on the water. I will see you on the next video.